with that thing. I've been working on it for months. Just a few more adjustments to his guidance system and Ralph will be ready to face the world. Did I mention that Nancy's coming over in a little while? So? So I think she's gonna ask you to the Sadie Hawkins dance. I don't suppose you had anything to do with it? I might. Oh, admit it, you like her. I don't like my sister arranging my social life. Who's arranging your social life? Just let it be known that nobody's asked you to the dance yet. She seems interested, so don't get in a huff. Who's in a huff? You're in a huff. There you are, Ralph. All ready to go. What's with the bicycle generator? Ah, oh, it's for the light. Why not hook it up to the battery? Because then it would use up the juice from the battery. See, this way. It runs off the generator, which is powered by the bell. So, as long as the robot's moving... The light stays on? Exactly. And the generator continues to charge the battery. So, when Ralph isn't moving, there's still enough juice in the battery to operate the lights. Annie, can you help me with this? Thank you. I thought he lacked a little personality. <clears throat> Annie, uh, it's not funny. It's a joke. It is funny. Yeah, sure. Take all that stuff off him. Come on, Tom. She looks more interesting this way. Clean him up. If you hate it so much, do it yourself. Joe, you're just in time for a demonstration. Greetings. I am Ralph, a mechanical but otherwise lovable being. I was produced at the Edison Laboratory by that youthful genius, Tom Medicine. Sounds like someone I know. Well, it's my voice. I mounted a tape recorder in his bag. Oh, uh, he doesn't actually talk? No. But watch this. He goes forward. Backward. He responds to a clicking noise, not the human voice. And he turns. And the light goes on. I'll get it later. Well, hey. So, what do you think? Cute face. Well, what else does he do? What do you mean, what else? It's a lot. If I made it ten years ago, before all these big space movies came out, you'd be impressed. 
Yeah, I'd be impressed. Ten years ago, you're six. What about Ralph's face? Hi, Annie. Is Tom in the workshop? Yep. But he's not in a great mood. Mm. That's because he's locked up with the world's most boring robot. Whatever you do, don't mention the robot's face. Right. hard for months and everybody laughs. Where's Paul? I don't know. Oh. Who are you going as to the dance? Thought I'd go as Ralph. Okay, okay. I'm in big trouble. Tom, could you help me fix Annie's Walkman? Right, Paul. And you fed him my Walkman to save your life, huh? Tom can fix it. Oh, yeah, sure. Tom can fix it. Tom's good at fixing things. And don't touch Ralph. <laughs> Machine. Load it up. I will be right there. 
Let's have food. Knock it off. Come on, Ralph. The time before Bosco sees us. Come on, let's go. Sorry, you don't. Knock it up, you crazy must. There's nothing here. I said, knock it up. Knock it up, you crazy must. There's nothing here. I said, knock it up. Hey, Bosco, don't you want your money? Nothing to eat. I can't even hear my customers. Stop it! What? What do you think you're doing? Get that thing out of here! No! Come on, Ralph. Let's get out of here. the door. I'm, uh, busy, Tom. What are you doing in there? Come on, open up. I wonder if this will get me to Cleveland. Paul, open the door. How's your day been, Paul? Not too good. Neither has mine. Let me tell you how bad it was. It started over at Bosco's junkyard. Guess what happened there? Someone was chasing his dog and wrecked a lot of his junk a little. And then someone? Someone knocked over a big stack of pipes. Mm-hmm. 
pipes at some TV antennas. I nearly hit a van. The van got out of the way, but it knocked a big wooden beam into a stack of royal drums. That's right, Paul. And last, but not least... The oil drums knocked over a shed. Five out of five. Now, here's the hard one. Who do you think did all this? Ralph. Ralph? My, uh, robot. My officer. I think this is really my responsibility. Fine. You take care of it. What's going on? Ask Paul. Listen, Nancy's gonna show up here soon. Just tell her I got tied up or something. Gotta get rid of this stupid costume. Why don't you tell her yourself? She's right over there. junkyard and get Ralph. What's he doing there? It's a long story. Well, is that important to you? I have to. You can come with me if you want. Maybe we can go to the dance after. Okay, sure. You look good. Ralph and all this junk. Shoot over here to look for your robot, Tom. Of course. I don't believe this. Hey, there he is. Where? Over there, come on. couple of days, Ralph. Your short and happy life over in the blink of an eye. No, it wasn't your fault, Ralphie boy. I had big plans for you. Come look. Ralph, there's no use running away.
have a pretty handy flashlight. Mr. Boss, where does it hurt? My leg. Okay, then he can pull you out. I don't trust that, Jack. Yeah. Nancy, can you help me move Mr. Bosco, please? Great, Tom. You probably saved his life. Mr. Bosco, where's the phone? Inside. Go ahead, I'll stay with you. I'm okay. You kids saved my life. You and that crazy robot. Thank God you came along. Good job last night, Tom. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without Ralph. So Mr. Bosco tells me. And he wanted me to tell you, if you need some spare parts to build a friend for Ralph, you've got the run of the yard. Thanks. We used feedback to get Ralph to follow sounds. Feedback is used by a lot of machines and by people to keep things working properly. A person maintains his balance when he walks a straight line, using his brain's natural feedback system. When he starts to lose his balance and tilts one way, the liquid in the semicircular canal registers the imbalance. This instinctively causes his body to react. His arms adjust their angle. So feedback helps you ride a bike, roller skate and do cartwheels. And feedback is what controls Ralph's direction. Ralph follows our clicks because when he isn't facing the sound, one of the microphones picks up the click first. This one automatically activates a motor, which applies the brakes on the wheel closest to the sound. And this causes the robot to turn towards the sound. Whatever the source of the sound may be. That's the problem with Ralph. He'll home in on anything that clicks. Well, okay. You insist. You're the hero. 